Hello, welcome to Tech Sharmit. In this session, we will learn about retrieve job attribute command and we will use that command for retrieving other three information from the command. In our previous session, we have just, uh, we have fetched the three things current uh, and now we will see the other three things that we can retrieve from this command. So for that, I have created one program. Uh, now I'm taking this program in edit mode and let's see how we are using it now. So first of all, we are declaring few variable here like current user, job type, job subtype. Okay, so before we going to discuss about this, let me tell you the how we can find out what type of a variable we need to declare for current user, what should be the length for this variable. So to find out these things, you just need to write RTV job a command as I'm writing on line number 16. So just write RTV job a command and then take F4. So once you take F4, it will show the uh, all the information that we can retrieve from this command. In our previous session, we have uh, learned about these three things like how we can retrieve these information and what are the meaning of these, the values uh, that we are getting from these three variable. And in this session, we will co uh, cover the other three things, which is current user, type and subtype. So here you can see CL variable for current user length is 10 so it is character 10 cl variable for type it is 1 cl variable for uh, subtype so it is 1 but if you want to know more about this thing like what uh, actually we are getting so uh, you can just write uh, click here just uh, place your cursor here and then take f1 so once you take f1 it will show all the information that is related to that variable like specifies the name of cl variable that receives the name of the current user profile so if you want to fetch the current user profile then you have to pass that variable name here and the attribute for the variable should be the variable must be a character variable with minimum length of 10 characters so we have to pass that variable which is of type character and it should have length of 10 so this is all about current user so basically it is uh, sending the uh, with this command we are retrieving the information which is related to the current user it is returning the current user of the system then another is cl where for type so just place your cursor press f1 so here you can see that specifies the name of the serial variable that receives the one character value representing the environment of job so this uh, variable will indicate the environment of job a character value of zero indicates that the job is running as a bad job if we are getting zero as an output, then it means it is a bad job. A character value uh, and a one indicates the, uh, an interactive job. If it is sending one, it means this is an interactive job. And here the attribute should be like this. The character variable must be a character. Um, the variable must be a character variable with minimum length of one character. So this is the requirement. So once you pass these three values, then you are eligible to retrieve the information by using this command. So we have passed three, three variable. Now I'm hitting enter. And in the same way, we are declaring the variable also. As we have seen, this current user should be of type care, of length 10, the job type. Here you can give any name. Variable name could be anything, but type and length should be the same as mentioned in that command attribute. So this is type, job type, job subtype. So variable declaration is done. We have retrieved the command, means we have used the command. Now we have the information in these three variable. Now it's time to print the value. So to print the value, I'm using the sndpjmmsg command, uh, which takes the argument only in character. So as all of these variables are already in character, so we are just passing it directly. So once this line executed, it prints the current username. Once this executed, it returns the job type and once this ex uh, executed, it returns the job subtype. So let's see how what is job subtype. So let's go back, take a 4 Here you can see that a uh, job subtype. So just place your cursor and then press F1. So these are the information that we can retrieve uh, that might be uh, that will be returned from this variable. So let's read about it. Specify the name of the CL variable that receives the subtype of value for the uh, for the environment of the job. It will return the subtype of the environment of the job. The variable must be a character variable with minimum length of one character. This should be a character variable and the length should be of one. The following values can be returned. 
these are the value that it might it can return okay so here you can see if it is returning asterisk it means the job has no subtype if it is returning d it means they, uh, the job is a batch immediate job if it is returning e the job is a communication evoke job if it is returning f then it is a system job or 36 job if it is returning j it means it is a pre-start job and if it is returning pre then it is a print driver job and similarly if you do page down you can see other two option if it is returning t it means it is a mrt job means multi multiple requester terminal job and if it is returning u it means the job is an is an alternate spool user job so these are the values that it can return from this variable and if you are not using any kind of subtype then it will return asterisk so we will see what we are getting for our system or mainly for our job so we are just printing this value and then let's try to compile it and see the output so I compiled it is compiled successfully now I'm calling so you can see the first current user job is printed so this is the current user now if I do page down it is the type of the job it is returning one it means it is a interactive job and if it returns zero it means it is a bad job so currently the job which we are using is interactive job if I do page down it shows the third uh, value that we are re retrieving from the RTV attribute command so it is uh, giving asterisk it means there is no subtype for the job so this is how we can retrieve the information from the CL uh, command which is rtv job attribute command so i hope it is clear to all of you and that's all for this session in the upcoming session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech channel